The water trough from the town square was a solid chunk of ice, though it mattered not much. Horses shivered at the very thought of taking in cold water in their bellies. The houses and stores were decorated up nifty, with strings of popcorn hung about the windows and dyed cloths decorating the rooms. Oh my, Christmas in Topeka. Well, not so in the First National Bank of Topeka. Mind you, old Scrooge, the last thing he'd ever do is go to the bother, not to mention the expense of needless decoration. Snow coming down fast and furious and colder. Cold that chills you to the bone. Lazy wind, kinda doesn't bother going round the body. Goes right through, seems like. A group of three young boys, brave in the cold, walking up and down the street, singing carols for all who care to hear. Their big mistake came in entering the First National Bank of Topeka. At the first sound of God rescue merry gentlemen, made nothing in dismay. Through the Easter ruler with such energy that the soul fled in terror, tails between their legs, and even the braver souls who attempt to bring the joys of the Christmas season to old Ebenezer Scrooge. In all I've said so far, do you get the impression that old Ebenezer Scrooge was a mean and nasty, inhospitable tyrant? If so, you'd have much in common with the folks of Topeka. Well, I'll be moseying on home now, Mr. Scrooge, if it's okay with you. We'll be walking all day tomorrow off, I suppose. Well, if that's all right with you, sir. It's not okay, it's not all right, and it's not fair. You know, if I were to pay you what little you are worth, you'd feel you were shortchanged, would you not? And yet you think it's not unfair for me to have to pay you a day's wages for no work. It is just once a year, sir. It's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. But I suppose you must have the whole day. Be here extra early the next morning. You have my word on that, sir. Help me with my coat. Out Scrooge walked with a growl. The office was closed in a second as Cratchit donned his long coat, a threadbare coat bad in need of replacing, and with his scarf wrapped tight around his head, left for the holiday, then ran home to join with his family in the Christmas celebration.